Oh, Tom, a.k.a. Jerry on here for Tabletop Tap Room. Today we're going to be reporting on the Satim Phoenix and Jameson controversy, uh, but with an interesting side twist. Uh, it's uh, our title of our show is Satine and Jameson did what? Uh, because it is being claimed that they are the second coming of the gaming antichrist. Apparently, they have been attacking none other than new TSR and Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. This here is a post from the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum website, and it says, slander continues for the group at TSR Hobbies and Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. Uh, let me just state right now, I can't find anything stated by Satim and Jameson about. I can't find any slander, let alone any comment on new TSR. <clears throat> but slander continues. Uh, founded by my, this is a post by Ryan Palmer, founded by uh, my friend, CEO, Justin Lanassa, and the son of Gary Gygax. That would be Ernest Gary Jr. Gygax. I'm wondering if that's like the junior bird man, but just different. I don't know. Ernest Gary Jr. Gygax. Uh, but uh, a prime example of greed, corporate strong arming. I checked. Uh, Apotheosis Studios is not a corporation. But anyhow, uh, uh, so corporate strong arming, com competitive gatekeeping. What gatekeeping? Uh, who are they keeping out of the hobby? I don't know. Uh, fans have to save their own culture. <laughs> you are the heroes and the only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> so this is the new narrative at the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. And we are now blaming uh, Satim, Phoenix, and Jameson for all the woes at Dungeon Hobby Shop and TSR Hobbies. Interesting. Let's just interrupt this video because as I was editing it, I got a response. I sent out questions. I like to get answers straight from the horse's mouth, as it were. So let me do a share screen here. So I thought I would ask uh, Satine Phoenix about uh, uh, these comments that are being posted on the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum site, uh, you know, alleging slander and attacks and just blah. Um, so, uh, I appreciate the response and, uh, let me just, let's see what we can do to blow this up a little bit. Um, you know, you see up here where she's responding to my initial query about, hi, I'm reporting on the dumpster fire. That is new TSR dungeon hobby shop museum. And I shared the post from dungeon hobby shop museum that alleges slander and attacks and yada, yada, yada. Uh, she was like, oh, I have no idea what this is or who Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum is. Uh, thank you for sharing this. I have no idea at all what, what this is about, about canceled games or anything. And uh, so then down here she asks, uh, how strange, uh, strange, how did I attack him? Thanks for letting me know. I don't understand what is happening anymore. And, uh, and then finally I asked... Uh, right here. Do you mind if I share your response uh, in a video I'm actually editing right now? And she said, sure. Officially, I do not know who this person is or what they are affiliated with. I do not know what they are talking about. And I responded with thank you. <clears throat> so that um, pretty much looks like an official word from Satin Phoenix. She doesn't know who this Justin Lanassa is. She's never heard of Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. She doesn't know what this is all about. Uh, so this is an opportunistic attack by an opportunist to try to divert negative scrutiny from himself and his own bad actions to somebody else who's fallen under a cloud. So, uh, you know, not cool. It's not cool. Um, you know, you let anybody stand or fall on their own merits. Uh, but, you know, Justin's just trying to throw somebody else under the bus and go, they're bad. We're good. 
you know, if you're all mad at them, you should be, you know, they've attacked us, so therefore you should like us. And that's not going to work. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a sad uh, play on the part of Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. But it's not just um, it's not just Dungeon Hobby Shop that's saying this. Uh, let's bring up some screenshots. Uh, Dave Films. Oh yes, Dave Films. Dave Johnson, the game designer who was outed for being a Nazi. There's now a a uh, a web page called No Hate in Gaming that spotlights all of his Nazi, you know, Hitler was right kind of crap uh, has emerged. Um, he's been in hiding, you know, but he's now emerging and he's posting on the TSR Discord. And it says, looks like Satan Phoenix and her strange hubby got some splaining to do. And why is Luck, L-U-K, Gygax, G-U-Y-G-A-X, a star? At best, they, plural, not Luke, I guess, are personalities like the local new presenters. I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, but, but if anybody's got some splaining to do, I think it would be Dave Johnson needs to explain all of that nasty uh homophobic you know uh i mean one post said uh said talked about um killing a uh a transsexual at a rest stop and hitler was right i mean it was just absolute vile crap and if anybody has some splaining to do it's not satine phoenix and and uh, jameson it would be dave johnson i would like an explanation dude come on let's 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 talk about the Nazi crap that was on your Twitter feed. So, uh, what else? Geez, what else here? Oh, uh, we have this from the Discord feed. Uh, Genghis Khan. Let me just enlarge it a little bit. Uh, Genghis Khan is reported to be has been identified as allegedly is Justin Lanassa. Uh, the name fits after his behavior on Twitter. Um, this paints a nice picture of the chaos of these folks and their dealings. Who the true grifters are, buddy. <laughs> I'm not a grifter, but they are. <laughs> it, rather ironic that he would say uh, who the true grifters are. Uh, let's talk about grift. People paid good money for the dungeon crawl game. It, uh, it was then given away photographic evidence in plenty by Ernie Gygax Jr. Uh, at Gary Con when he showed up on the last day there. It was then sold at Grand Rapids Comic Con. Uh, it was then sold at Dave Con. Um, Ernie Gygax had a whole table at Dave Con and was selling Dungeon Crawl <clears throat> at uh, Dave Con. And uh, but you have everybody who pre ordered Dungeon Crawl and the uh, the module, the cult of abandoned customers have not received their thing. But in the first week of May, of uh, April, there was an announcement on the Dungeon Hobby Shop uh, page, Facebook page, that everything shipped. Everything shipped. We can't give you any tracking numbers, it's too much for us to do. Uh, but we have shipped everything. And they gave us a photo of all the things put into packaging for the post office. And um, people noted there was a little Photoshopping going on with that. Uh, then somebody else noted you're doxing one of your customers. And, um, you know, the response back from Dungeon Hobby Shop was like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, it's right there for everybody to read. You know, the guy's uh, name and address. I mean, I was like, uh, should we send this guy a sympathy card? I don't know if he'd appreciate that. <laughs> you know, dude, I'm sorry you got doxxed all over the internet by uh, the company you bought a game from. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so now they're claiming that the Dungeon Crawl game, there was a, oh, there was a problem with the printer, with the rule book. Uh, so, you know, we're still trying to get that out. Uh, no, they already claimed it was shipped. They've been selling the game. 
What are you selling it without the rule book? People are supposed to make rules up uh, as they go. I mean, no. Uh, in fact, his their their uh, their guy Wolf Phototech did a review, um, the cringeworthy review of of uh, Dungeon Crawl. I mean, it was absolutely cringeworthy, and um, you know, so the game exists and it's out there in the wild, but nobody who pre-ordered it and paid TSR good money has received their game because you know they can't be bothered with mailing things out, and it still doesn't make any sense about mailing about oh. Uh, the printer screwed up. That doesn't hold any water. What about people who just bought Cult of uh, Abandoned Customers, the module, and not the? Why didn't they get their game? Why didn't they get their module? None of it makes any sense. <clears throat> so uh, that's talk about grift. But let's come down here. I digress. Um, we come down here. Genghis Khan has this to say about Satine Phoenix is part of the Luke group. That would be Luke Gygax uh, that has been attacking directly and indirectly the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. These folks have many trips, tricks up their sleeves. They're tricksy, as Gollum would say. Uh, you folks have only uncovered two. Um, what tricks have we uncovered? I don't know, but... <clears throat> Apparently, Satine Phoenix and Jameson Stone have been attacking Dungeon Hobby Shop and slandering them. I'd like to see the slander. What slander um, do we have? So this is the new narrative. Uh, we're not bad. We're not the grifters. They're the grifters. Uh, <laughs> so we have new faces at new TSR, apparently. Now there's some controversy between not controversy but difference of opinion between me and the good wife good wife has done a deep dive on erica uh, reichlin assa and uh her opinion is yeah well i know you like her i mean that's my opinion after i did the deep dive yeah um her opinion is is that she would not get involved in this mm -hmm. uh and i i understand that because i've looked at some of the same material she's looked at and i i didn't really see her getting involved. Uh, there's a lot of analysis by uh, a group of people who are very much interested in what's going on here with a uh, new TSR. Um, and I'm kind of 80% with them and 20% with the good wife. Uh, <clears throat> so here's what I think. So, uh, you know, there, there's, well, first of all, there's, there's no press release from new TSR. But there are claims that she's been involved right along from the very, 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 very beginning back last, last year, year and a half ago, um, which none of us believe because there's no evidence of that. But uh, there are claims that she's been involved that long. Uh, but I'm 80%, but there's, there, there is no press release. So I'm hedging my bet saying, eh, um, maybe. And, you know, there, there's some good points made. People have been saying, look, you know, money, uh, he's losing money on the, the tax judgment against him for not remitting the sales tax to the state of North Carolina. He lost that. He owes $45,000. Um, you know, maybe they've just reached an impasse where suddenly she had to get involved. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I have a feeling, though, that we will learn more as time goes on. But with her as the new face of the company and uh, with her involved, it does bode. It, it, it's a good thing on one hand because you're not going to get the Twitter rage monkey up in the Twitter tree flinging poo at everyone like we've been dealing with. So I had predicted that that would happen, that it would only a matter of time before that was back on again. Um, it won't be back on as long as she's involved, I don't think. Um, I, I think she'll put the brakes on that. So that is a good thing. And it makes me glad she's involved, but we have now, um, seen in the, um, uh, in the troll of, uh, Eric's live stream where she was like, everything you said is false. Nothing's true. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> so we've seen these categorical denials. Uh, we also saw that when, um, William Gentry, uh, Lanassa's father-in-law uh, asked to join 
10 cars tavern which was really odd he was in there for two hours and he decided he didn't like the atmosphere because people were not accepting his oh y'all are totally wrong about my son he's such an honorable man and um you don't know him like i do he's such a good man and <laughs> he's a good boy he's a very good boy <laughs> it reminds me you know like like the, the family of the Boston Marathon bomber. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. You don't understand. You know, you can deny, but we've lived through his bad behavior. We have screenshots. Oh, no, those are photoshopped. Oh, uh, I forgot. Just hand wave. You just say, nope, those are photoshopped. They can't be true. And, and nothing that you've experienced, nothing in the public record that you've reported on is true. You're all liars. You're all lying. That's the new denial. So that's the new narrative that's going along with the new faces that are involved. This is the new narrative we can expect throughout the summer. Everything you say is a lie. So even if we found one statement by Eric that was true, it would totally invalidate their flat categorical statements. They don't want to hear it. Um, <laughs> I mean, if Eric said the sky is blue, that would be true. No, it's not. It's it's black at night. <laughs> so uh, Eric has predicted that uh, we're going to see where they take one thing said, twist it out of context, and then re-report it uh, the way they want to. Uh, and so you're going to have a lot of that to try to uh, combat the critics. Because there are numerous critics for this company. <laughs> And they are not all minions of Eric. Eric doesn't pay enough for me to be his minion. <laughs> but he is a good source of advice. I, I always appreciate that from him. <laughs> but uh, this is the this is the new um, this is the new reality, the new narrative. So there you have it. Um, everything is the team Phoenix and, and Jameson's fault. And uh, Justin did nothing wrong. <laughs> Dave Johnson's okay, despite being a Nazi, <laughs> and posting the most horrific stuff about killing trans people and about Nazis and that Hitler was right. Um, this is the new narrative. None of that stuff ever happened. You lie about everything. Everything you have, every screenshot you have is Photoshopped. <laughs> So this is Tom from Tabletop Taproom signing out, warning you what the new narrative is. Tom from Tabletop Taproom, keep on gaming.